With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, this is the question ID number 644-358-767. The question is shared that the A neutron the kinetic energy 65 EV collides inelastically with a singly ionized helium atom which is at rest position and it is scattered at angle 90 degree with respect to original direction. If the energy of the scattered neutron is 6.36 EV, find the frequency of the emitted radiation from the helium atom after suffering collision. Okay, so this is the question based on the collision, collision of the neutron and the helium. So first of all, you should know the uh, mass of the helium and the mass of the neutron. Let's do the solution. Mass of neutron is equal to m and the mass of helium is equal to 4 times of neutron okay now in starting suppose here there is a neutron and here there is a helium and the initial velocity before collision Suppose the initial velocity of this V i is equal to u and this suppose this is V i suppose this is V i n and this is V i h e is equal to 0. It is starting at the rest position and then it collides to this and then scattered after scattering this is before collision and this is after collision so it collide helium atom and it is scattered at 90 degree and the angle between this is 90 degree now this is after collision the component of this suppose the velocity he in this case here the velocity of the neutron is v1 v1 and the velocity of the helium is v2 and the component of this v2 in the x direction is v2 cos theta so this is this is v2 cos theta suppose this is theta angle and it is v2 sin theta okay now apply the conservation of the momentum that means momentum um, momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision along x-axis suppose this is along x-axis that means pi x is equal to pf x here x represents the direction of the collision and here this pi is equal to suppose the mass uh, mass of the uh, neutron that is m and the velocity that is 
u plus mass of the uh, helium that is 4m and the velocity of the helium before collision which is 0 is equal to and it is uh, now the mass of the helium which is 4m into component of the velocity in the h direction that is v2 cos theta so this equation is along x axis similarly we can write this rewrite this equation that is uh, uh, from here this m2 m cancel then you will get u is equal to 4 v2 cos theta this is equation number 1 here v2 is the uh, velocity of the helium after collision and u is the velocity of the neutron before collision similarly for along the y axis that is pi y is equal to pf y and it will be and the velocity of this will be suppose this is v v1 the velocity of um, v1 is equal to uh, this will be mass of the uh, helium that is 4m and the component of the velocity in the y direction that is v2 sin theta so from here this m to m cancel then you will get v1 is equal to 4 v2 sin theta now if we uh, square these and then add them on squaring squaring equation 1 and 2 and then add you will get u square plus v1 square is equal to 16 v2 square and this is cos square theta plus sin square theta and which is 1 that is u square plus v1 square is equal to 16 v2 square this is equation number 3 now if we multiply this by 1 by half multiplying by half m on both sides then you, you will get half m u square plus half m v1 square is equal to half m 16 v2 square let's make it in the form of the kinetic energy so this is fine that is half m u square plus half m v1 square is equal to this is half and this is the kinetic energy of the helium that is half m is the 4m and the velocity is v2 square and then it is 4 into 4 that is so this is the initial kinetic energy of the neutron initial collision that means it is ke of neutron and this is the kinetic energy of the uh, this is also ke suppose this is ke dash of neutron is equal to ke of he into 
let's write this this is k n plus this is k n dash is equal to this is k h e so this is equation number 4 now from here uh, we can uh, find out the value of this khe because k and given here given k n that is kinetic energy of neutron before collision that is half m u square is equal to 65 eb and k n dash is also given kinetic energy of neutron is equal to half m v1 square is equal to 6.36 eb you can see in from the question uh, with this with the if the energy of the scattered neutron is 6.36 eb then you can calculate the value of the k h e that is this will be 4 k h e is equal to the sum of this that is 71.36 e v or k h e is equal to 17.36 divided by Four. Seventeen point EV. K N must be equal to the K N dash plus K H E plus excitation energy of helium. Now from here. We can write this K N prime plus K H G plus it is I think it is fifty four point fifty four point four and one upon one square minus one upon n square and this energy in the E V now substitute the value of these all k n we have we have k n prime and k h e then you you can get the relation between and k h e so the, from here we can find out that k h e is equal to k n minus k n dash minus 54.4 1 by 1 square minus 1 upon n square so using this relation because k h is equal to 17.84 ev is a k n is 65 ev and k n dash is equal 6.36 ev minus this is 54.4 plus 54.4 upon n square these are all values in the ev uh, using this you can calculate the value of the n square and from here you will get n square is equal to 54 divided by 4 uh, sorry, n square is equal to 54.4 divided by 13.44, and this value is around 4.047. That means the value of n is 2. That means there is a transition. Transition. from 
n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 which gives the kinetic energy around 6 5 eV now calculate the uh, uh, frequency of the radiation then nu is equal to uh, this is e2 minus e1 e2 minus e1 divided by this is h nu and z square in for helium z is equal to 2 then it will be 4 e2 minus e1 and the frequency will be nu is equal to 4 this value is minus 13.6 ev and this 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon 1 square and here the value of h and if we substitute this is 1 by 4 this is minus so one that is it is minus 3 by 4 it is 4 into minus 13.6 ev into minus 3 by 4 and divided by the value of the Planck constant that is 6.62 into 10 power minus 34 and from here this 4 to 4 cancel and again the substitute this value in e that it is uh, 13.6 into 3 into 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 divided by 6.62 into 10 to power minus 34 and this value comes to 9.86 into 10 to power 15 hertz So this is the correct answer for this. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.